Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. This is going to be a little bit of a different video out of the norm of the guitar stuff. So I have a 13-year-old daughter. She's in middle school now, and she's in 7th grade. And she's kind of had a little bit of a hard time with uh, schooling and stuff like that uh, from day one. And, you know, we've gotten, throughout the years, we've gotten her tutors and, and help. Hell, I even spent... Uh, uh, sixteen hundred dollars for um, that Huntington course, and uh, that actually helped out quite a bit with uh, with her learning and stuff. And uh, she made the honor roll so far in middle school, so it was like a great achievement. And she's been kind of hitting me up for uh, a gaming PC. Now we have the Xbox 360, you got the Xbox One, you got the Xbox One S or something, whatever's uh, after the Xbox One. Got the PlayStation 4 Pro or something like that, I think it's called. And she's, you know, pretty good at games and stuff. I can't, uh, uh, I can't keep up with her as far as these games go. I'm not a gamer, so I, I really, you know, not interested in it, but she is. And she has a game called Ark that she likes to play um, a lot, and... You can't get mods and stuff off of the uh, Xbox or the PlayStation like you can with the PC, uh, you know, going through stream or whatever it's called. Now, I'd, I've done a lot of computer work years ago when, when uh, Pentium 4s were uh, popular and you had XP and, and, and Vista were, you know, the thing back then. Uh, I've built some games or built some computers that can handle gaming back then, but things have changed now. There's a lot of different stuff that's out there. And what used to be able to build a, uh, a pretty damn good, close to top of the line PC for like 500, 600 bucks, uh, you can't do that no more. So, you know, things have changed a lot. So I really haven't gotten into the computer stuff uh, other than upgrading my laptops, uh, changing out the CPUs uh, for better ones, upgrading memory, uh, changing out the solid state drives. Um, I really haven't done too much of anything else. Now I did put Steam on my Dell Precision uh, M6800 and it's got a NVIDIA GeForce uh, card inside of it. Now, I had to turn down a lot of the settings for the gaming stuff in order for the, gaming, the game to work. You know, it just glitching and, you know, it just wasn't right. But didn't look as pretty as it would if it was on the Xbox or the PlayStation. So I figured, well, her birthday is um, it's still a while away. But, uh, well, you know, for getting on the honor roll, it's kind of a big achievement for her. And for us, uh, you know, maybe I'll get her to gaming PC now. So I got a hold of my buddy Dave. We got online, and we started looking at gaming PCs. So it was like, okay, I don't. He's my buddy Dave is kind of like the guy that uh, everyone went to for rebuild of their PC, uh, upgrading operating systems, reinstalls. Um, you know, he he's got the knowledge and the patience for working on computers and shit. He's taught me a lot throughout the years and uh, I'm still learning from him now. So we were talking about the gaming stuff and it's like, okay, well, Intel is pretty much out and AMD is in as far as uh, uh, a lot of the gaming PCs go. Uh, NVIDIA and GeForce uh, GTX is kind of the, the new um, you know, video card that uh, is kind of what everyone's kind of looking for and stuff but a lot of these pcs it's like i don't know what i'm looking at anymore it's not like it used to be years ago where i used to know what the numbers were and what they meant and now it's kind of like things have changed to where i really have no clue i know some of it not all of it so we got to look in and look in and look in online and it's like, okay, well, what's your, your price point as far as you want to spend? And it's like, well, you know, I don't want to sound cheap, but I, as less as possible. So we got on to like talking about building a PC. And by the time we got done with all the parts that it need, um, it's like, yeah, that, that's going to be more than I, than I want to spend for kind of like an entry level, you know, gaming PC. 
So we got to look and look and look and stuff. And he's telling me what to look for as far as specs go. That's going to work with some of the newer games that are out now. And I came across this, which actually worked out pretty good. This Cyber Power PC Game Masters um, ATX. Uh, I think this is a six core, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. 480 gig solid state drive, 2 terabyte hard drive, and the GTX 1660 Super 6 gig graphics. And this thing here has got five stars from this seller. Um, it's also got good ratings from other sellers as well. And one of the reviews on it was basically uh, the guy plays Ark. And he says everything ran smooth, everything was turned up, there was no problems, issues, glitches, or anything else, crashing. And I was like, okay, well, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So it's an AMD, um, six-core processor. Uh, here are the specs right here. Uh, it's an AMD third-generation uh, Ryzen 5. Uh, Windows 10 Home, it comes installed, pre-installed. Um, it's not bad i mean it's not bad at all for uh for a pc and it, i can it's exact it, i can extend it. i mean i could put 64 gigs of ram inside here i could change out the cpu i could change out the um video card you know it's upgradable and this is a good platform for you know not having to build one but being less and getting almost the same thing that I would be building. So it's $979. Out the door with shipping was like a thousand dollars and thousand something. So I was like, okay, you know, she's done pretty good. She's come a long way. I'm gonna get it for her. So I ended up picking this thing up. I'm not a gamer by no means at all. You know, so I, what I'm gonna do is when this comes in, you know, I really don't care for these windows showing the inside of a computer with all the leds you know I, it's not something that i you know really i don't know too flashy i guess but it comes with a mouse and a keyboard um i'm going to go wireless uh, i'm going to do the xbox controller on it and uh you know, that's bluetooth i already got a bluetooth fucking thing for that but i'm going to do a review on this thing when it comes in and see how this thing uh performs if it is what uh these guys are saying it is as far as gaming goes with the settings turned up and being able to, you know, play like if you're playing on the Xbox. Another thing that is kind of cool is that, uh, getting off the subject of the computers, is that the California company uh, hit me up yesterday on email for the custom guitar that I'm having built and uh said production is going in as of uh yesterday and uh so that's going to, it's it's being built as we speak i guess well maybe not since it's in china they're probably sleeping now i don't know and yeah something like that but yeah productions has started on that and uh it'll probably be a month before it's finished probably be another uh month before i actually probably get it in my hands to kind of check that out so yeah hopefully i get pictures and uh they send me the photos of the progress on it and you know maybe i'll be able to share it with you if they do so you guys take it easy have a good one and i will catch up with you all later